Besides, I'm too smart for it. The other objection is I don't want it to lower my productivity. I don't want to have less desire, less work ethic. Fact check on that is true. The more happy you are, the more content and peaceful you are, the less likely you want to run out there and change the world. But at the same time, being unhappy is very inefficient. The peaceful person doesn't have extraneous thoughts going through their head. If you are a driven, unhappy person, your mind will be on 24-7. What are the consequences of this? Your sleep is much worse. You're much more likely to react, become angry, and dig yourself into a hole that you then have to dig yourself out of. Your decisions are going to be emotional and impetuous. You're much more likely to be in the busy trap where you're busy all the time, running from one thing to another because you can't mentally prioritize. You don't have peace of mind, so when it comes time to make judgments, you have too many threads going through your head and you don't have time to devote to making those judgments. So there's a trade-off. If you become the Buddha tomorrow, it's unlikely you'll also launch rockets to the moon like Elon Musk. But on the other hand, there are enough successful, optimistic leaders, scientists and innovators, especially as they get older, that you see it's not necessarily the case that happy people have to be ineffective as I became much happier in my life, I actually became much more effective. I was able to form relationships with people that earlier in my life I would have kept at a distance, whatever preconceived notion. I can make decisions much more clearly now because of see what the long-term outcome is going to be. And I cut straight to the chase. I don't try and negotiate an extra 20% here or there because I know that that's going to make me unhappy long-term. It's going to make the other person unhappy and it'll make the deal less stable. So I've actually been more productive even though I've worked less hard because I've made better decisions. In the modern age, the quality of the decision you make is everything because we're all leveraged. You can be leveraged through code, community, media, capital, labor, etc. If you're a smart person, every decision you make these days, you're leveraging it in some way. And so the quality of your decision making is more important than anything else. If Warren Buffett makes the right decision 85% of the time and his competitors make it right 65 or 70% of the time, Buffett's going to win everything. That's the source of his strength, good decision-making. He makes one decision a year, two at most. Most of the time, he's sitting around reading books, thinking hard, reading S1s, playing bridge, traveling, golfing, etc. Obviously, hard work is not the solution. Good decision-making and high leverage is the solution. Having a peaceful mind, being a happier person, relying less on momentary pleasure and being calmer in general will allow you to have the frame of mind where you make better decisions and will actually increase your effectiveness. As long as the increase in effectiveness is higher than the reduction in drive, you're well off. Finally, I would say, do you want to be the best in the world by working the hardest? Or do you want to be the best in the world who worked the least for it, (laughs) right? Turn it off.